I'm back with more gameplay for Emerald Steel Aggro. If you want to hear more about the deck, you can check out my quick list video. Let's get into the game. Going first, I'm going to look for Flynn. We only need one mirror. I think we are gonna need that mirror though. Now, like Emerald Steel doesn't have much card draw, so. But we definitely got all of it. Oh, we're playing Simba. I guess we like. I don't like activating Tinkerbell, but sometimes it does the job. Yeah, I want to take my hook trade while I can. And I feel like they have to get the Tinkerbell off the board because they know how weak their deck is to Big Tink. take the trade just because challenger kind of makes this attack
Oh man. Yeah, we really needed that one. That's good. Does mean we're just skipping our turn though. Yeah, the, the five cost hook was like the last card I cut to get down to 60. I, it's the next card I want to play for sure, help us sing. But I felt like I was like, just had too many uninkables. But I think you can just fix that with being more cautious in your mulligan and uh, not mulliganing any inkables that you have and you'll be okay. I might have to give that another shot. I mean, yeah, we're just gonna set up the win here. And they don't have any direct damage or any way to deal with Flynn. I guess they could go uh, Mother Knows Best. That's the only way they can buy themselves a turn. And then they still have to challenge into Mad Hatter. And there's no way for them to get two more lore. Or no, they need four more. Yeah. Nice. I think we'll leave some for ink. He's still on the quest for one, so I'm going to try to stay aggressive. But next turn I might shift and sing because our opponent's not doing anything. They got a full grip. That's the best time. That's when a whole new world is insane.
Do I want to put more on the board right now? Or do I need inkable? Because we're playing Cusco next turn. And he's just gonna... Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll take our aggressive lore as we can. As much as we can. Yeah, so their opening hand didn't have the early plays that you need. We just made them discard all their late game stuff. And now they're going to have all their early game stuff back. If I quest with Prince Eric, he'll take that trade with Hook, and then we can get Hook off the board. I'm gonna play Mad Hatter first. That doesn't feel good. You don't want to pay six to return a character to my hand. Don't want to sing. I do want to like empty my hand as much as possible. Eric on the board. No, I think Do I want to set up a Captain Hook though. No, I think I'd rather just play this Tinkerbell here. Because they can't play Grab Your Sword twice. They can play one Grab Your Sword. Not oh, Chelsky. You know, I, I see Han a lot, and I haven't actually even, like, considered him. I, I should take a look there. I do want maybe, le or maybe, like, uh, less expensive cards in this list, so Han's might be a really good fit. Yeah, that's a good idea. I had to look at that. Cerberus is pretty big, but I think we're just going to push lore.
He's hoping to draw something, but there's no way for him to uh, play double grab your sword now. So I think we've got it. There we go. 